be it for a party or a casual get together, this simple hot chocolate in a crock pot is very simple and a perfect warm drink to serve to your guests. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Honestly, who doesn't love hot chocolate, especially during parties? And with this recipe, you just dip your cup in and drink away. But remember, don't double dip. So join me today as I make my version of a crock pot hot chocolate. So firstly, we're going to start this off with our crock pot or slow cooker. Honestly, exactly the same thing, just different names in different countries. And they're incredibly cheap to buy, so I really highly recommend that you get one. So to start off with, I'm going to pour in six cups of milk. Now you could go low fat on this, but honestly, this is about taste. It's not about being healthy. So I'm going to add in six cups worth of full cream milk. And next I'm going to follow that up with one can or 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And this is the good stuff. It's pretty much pure sugar milk. So just pour in the whole can. And next I'm going to add in one and a half cups of thickened cream or whipping cream or double cream. And as with all my videos, you'll find a list of the ingredients in the description underneath this video. Then one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm just going to guesstimate. And finally, two cups of chocolate chips. Now I'm using semi-sweet because there's already enough sweetness in this recipe as it is. So just place that straight in. And simply give it a very good mix through until everything is well combined. There are a lot of thick and thin ingredients in this. Now we're not mixing this to melt the chocolate because it's still pretty cold in there. But we just want to mix up all of those different thick and thin ingredients like the sweet and condensed milk, the cream and the milk itself. So make sure you get to all the bottom and the corners just so everything is well combined. Now this works out so much better than a regular hot chocolate because it's basically slow cooking your hot chocolate. So it really does infuse all those lovely flavors. And it also gives you a convenient vessel to keep your hot chocolate in while people dip their cup in. But just be sure nobody double dips. Unless of course you're gonna use a ladle and that's a fine one. Okay, so once mixed through, we're going to put the lid on and we're going to turn it on high for two hours. Now give it a stir, say every half an hour or so, just to make sure that chocolate doesn't stick to the base. And especially after the first half an hour, it'll really help mix that melted chocolate in so everything is well combined. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes so far. And as you can see, the chocolate has already started to melt away. So I'm going to give it a good stir. And as you can see, the chocolate is almost completely melted. It's definitely nice and soft. So give it a good stir. So we're just going to keep it on high for another, say, hour and a half, hour 15 minutes. So we've got a complete two hour time. And just stir roughly every half an hour until the two hours is up. Okay, so it's been two hours. And look at that. It's thickened up nicely. Just look at how thick that has turned out. And it smells delicious too. Now it is all perfectly combined and you have a lovely, rich, thick drinking chocolate. And just see the way it coats. It is lovely. Now all you have to do to keep it warm is just turn it down to low because you don't want to overcook it because it can curdle the milk. So if you keep it on low, it'll keep it nice and warm for hours. But honestly, it's not going to last that long because it tastes fantastic. So I have a ladle on hand so people can serve themselves. Just be careful, especially around children, it will be pretty hot. So give it a chance to cool down in a cup a little bit. But this really is a perfect hot chocolate to make. If you're having a party or a few guests over, they can serve themselves this lovely, delicious, creamy, hot chocolate. But there's only one way to see what it's like and that's to try it. Mm. Now that honestly goes down so well. It's one of the best hot chocolates I've ever tried. So obviously you don't want to drink the whole thing yourself because well, 
you could already picture what's going to happen, but as a treat for, you know, one or two cups each at the most. So it's a perfect drink for a hot day or a cold day, no matter which day you have it, it's going to taste simply delish.